All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. I hope you enjoyed that new theme song, courtesy of Scottoon Network. Never misses. Scottoon never misses. And uh, first is the show where I build the deck and we just play it live on stream. I believe it's episode 27. However, I did not check because I just don't do things right sometimes. I, I don't know what you want from me, all right? So a little standard deck here. And of course, if you, um, you missed it, I was just at SCG Con which was uh, a lot of fun, huge, huge amount of fun. And uh, on the car ride home, me and Dan were talking about decks. I was like, on the car ride there, actually. Uh, we didn't have time to like build it and try it out. But we talked about adding white to the black deck that I've played a lot because the card Vanishing Verse is super, super awesome in standard right now. It basically kills everything and while also exiling it, which is super great too. And uh, trying to figure out what... Could, what deck could play this card? And uh, ended up with sort of a black whitey token deck. Now, we've seen a lot of these cards before in the mono black deck I've played on stream a bit. You know, Eye Twitch, Shambling Gas, Village Rites, um, kind of a you know, Sacrifice Core, Lalit Spider Queen, uh, Meat Hook Massacre. But the problem was those decks weren't super great against Allrun's Epiphany. And obviously, it's a very, very popular card in the format. So, adding white gives a, a few things to the deck. Of course, it gives Elite Spellbinder which is already a, a fantastic card, also very, very good against the Allrun's Epiphany decks, as well as Redain in the sideboard, same idea. It gives the deck Vanishing Verse, which is probably the best removal spell in the format, and then it gives it Clarion Spirit, which is honestly one of my favorite cards in printed in the last few years. Uh, super awesome two-drop, makes flyers, perfect for this deck. We got Village Rites, we got Meat Hook Massacre, we want attackers, we want blockers. Um, kind of just like the perfect card for this deck. And uh, it's not a huge splash, but it is a reasonable little splash. Unfortunately, don't have the uh, the slow land from the new set, which isn't out yet, but that's okay. That's okay. And uh, yeah, just kind of a sweet looking deck here, honestly. The black cards play really well against the uh, the aggro decks. Uh, Meat of Massacre, Shambling Gas, really, really good against Mono White. And the deck can hold its own against Mono Green as well. Spider Queen being awesome there. And then Spellbinder, Tr Trespasser, and the clock giving us... Uh, game against the Epiphany decks as well. So that's kind of the idea. Nothing, you know, groundbreakingly revolutionary. No Mad Cow Storm here, but a uh, pretty cool deck and uh, going to try it out and see how it goes here on the ladder. The ladder just reset. Freshly Brewed, episode 27, brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Andre, first time viewer. What's up, my friend? Happy to have you. Freshly brewed. And uh, our opening hand is not great, but we're going to lean on Vanishing Verse here. We have uh, we have the Verse removal, and uh, you know we have Spider, stuff like that. We can, we can figure this one out. We're going to keep this. It's not great, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We're snarling. We're snarling. It's freshly brewed. You missed the intro. Well, I guess so be it. So be it. One eaten alive here. Pretty solid card, honestly. A little more exiling removal. Obviously, we have plenty of things to sacrifice, so. Want to have the density of one minus spells pretty high for Clarion Spirit, which is pretty important. And again, Vanishing Verse is great. Vanishing Verse just kills everything. There's very, very few um, multicolor playable cards in this format. Uh, it does not kill Faces Haven. That's like the one really big one it doesn't kill. Kills basically everything else. All right, so play Swamp here and say go. Always want to try and hold a basic in our hand for future snarls if possible. What's up? What's up, uh, Pinecone? Let's go, my friend. Luminarch Aspirant. He's dead. Shout out from Brazil, land of a spellbinder. Awesome, my friend. All right, so pretty bad draws here. It's just true land, land, but that's all right. We'll figure it out. Hopefully no uh, Redain here would be pretty annoying. Adversary, sure. So, yes, I was just, just at SCG Con. Uh, again, it was awesome. Super amount of, super great fun. Uh, first big event I played in two years. And again, I cashed, but would like to have done better. Again, friend of mine, Corey Baumaster 1, which is super cool. So, 
Alright, well, there's Redain, and uh, now, Redain actually won't stop this from killing it, I don't believe. I could also just eye twitch, honestly, if I wanted to, like, eye twitch, eaten alive, and then play, yeah, actually, we're gonna do that. Well, I wanna, I wanna get the, uh, the summoning. So play this. Sack creature, target this. Sack this. Yeah, we had an awesome pile drivers dinner uh, at SGCon. Met up with a lot of the pile drivers. We all went out to a, a great Mexican place in Roanoke. Uh, one Beardy Boy, Captain Jack, Nurse Flynn, mostly lost. Had a great crew, which is awesome. What's up, Jackals? How's it going, my friend? Nice 3 1 opponent. Alright, so thankfully no Renate and Ordain there. Adeline. Um. We're just gonna block here and keep this thing small, I think. Should be fine. Lost to Ross Marion playing this card in standard. I mulligan both games and his hands were really good. He rolled me. I know why there wasn't coverage. I don't know, honestly. Maybe they didn't want to shell at the expense. Maybe they didn't. I don't really know, honestly. Kind of stinks, but, you know, super fun event. Super awesome. Felt great playing Big Magic Bennett again. Uh, Nicole and I is going to go to, or Nicole and I is, Nicole and I is, that's my English degree over there in case you're wondering. Uh, Nicole and I are going to uh, a modern 4K in Pennsylvania this weekend, which should be a lot of fun too. All right, so they're going to come in here and um, we can actually kill this Adeline at the cost of losing Lolith Spider Queen. Just like block of both and minus and minus one. I'm going to do that. Just kill this, play new Spider Queen next turn. That's near you, Lord Drake, and you should come. Yeah, playing playing a big magic event again was super awesome. Kill Adeline. And they have another adversary. Alright, so. They have another portable hole here, we could be in trouble. Because uh then Spider Queen won't live, but. Where in Pennsylvania? Uh Lancaster, I think. The cornfields thing, yeah, the cornfields thing. It's like a free 5k. I don't really understand why it's free, but... Yeah, they're, they're promoting some game or something. So, they're going to Sentinel. So, we need, we have two two draws here to find uh, some, some action. That's that's a land. That's also a land. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Alright, well, that blow is pretty bad. Uh, because we need, we just need some action here to not, to not lose our Spider Queen. And uh, we drew literally land, land, land. So, uh, cool start. Cool start to Freshly Brewed here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Gonna kill some stuff, I guess. Attack me, attack me, attack me. Attack me with everything? They're gonna leave my spider? Sweet. Alright, we'll block the two biggest things that are also the two best things. Cut lands and sideboarding, clearly. Did I screw up? Oh, it's a 4-3. I'm so, I'm so stupid. It's a 4-3. I don't know why. I don't know why I, I just... I thought it was a 4-2. My bad. My bad. So, I can plus here and just draw a card. Make two spiders. Or I could minus... And just... I'm sorry. Plus and draw a card and then, like, just try and defend it, which seems really hard. Basically, meet up Massacre or Bust. Or I can minus, just take my spiders and just try and, try and keep grinding. I think we're just gonna do that. Thanks to spiders. Say go. Frost Dragon face saving. Yeah, that was a terrible block. I thought that, that block's gonna cost us the game. I just, for some reason, thought this was a 4. This was a 4 2. I'm not sure why. Unless this thought it was a 3 2, because it's just like, what's what the card is. But yeah, I needed to block literally anything else there. The Protector Shield. Okay. So we can actually, like, verse the shield and make, make good blocks. We're still, like, need to draw a spell, because we draw, like, 19 lands this game, so... Block here and here. Need to draw some spells, not gonna lie. Spells, please. Clarion Spirit. Uh, one lonely Clarion Spirit's probably not gonna do it. Brutal Cathar. That is pretty brutal.
Yes, that time we could have killed the three two, but I wanted to kill the uh, Toga Maker also. Yeah, so I think we're, we're gonna be totally fine here. These, these black decks line up really well against these white decks. You just, you just run literally twelve lands this game. Yeah, there you go. So happens. One downside to not being mono black is that you lose the havens and the creature lands. So instead of having seven creature lands, only have three. But bring in the meat hooks, bring in the soul shatters, uh, cut the duresses, and guess any alive. Thanks. The Jadars aren't very good. Spellbinder's only okay, but. This is fine. It's a good matchup. It's a good matchup. I mean, if we had dropped Meathook at any point there, it probably would have been like, over oh, okay. But yeah, I mean, also that, that the block I made definitely hurt. I, I just screwed that block up, which is okay. It happens. It happens. I'm human. I'm human. Ooh, yeah. That's she kind of great. We played basketball on Sunday with quite a crew. Myself, uh, Ross Merriam, Noah Walker, Dylan Donegan, uh, Travis Gibson, um, Chris, I forget his last name, but he won, he won the last Invitational. Uh, we balled for like three hours. Why would I bring, why would I want to bring in Redain though? Because Redain, they have Snowlands, but like all their cards are cheap. Hope it's just 2-3 Flower, you know? Jim. Back. What's up, little Deb? Thanks for the reset, appreciate it. Redain's mostly just a 2-3. Making their lands come in tapped is not really particularly relevant. Um, Alright, so kind of an interesting hand here. Only have two lands. Um, we have Clarion Spirit, Gas, which is pretty great. We have Banishing Burst. We're, we're going to keep this. The thing is, we're going to keep this. I think we're not going to play Shambling Gas on turn 1. We're going to just Vanishing Burst on 2 and try and draw a land for Spirit into Gas on turn 3. She can draw any land. Con, I was gonna say, Jim, thanks for signing my thought hemorrhage at the con, which is the invitational, but didn't play formats for Lightning Bolt isn't legal. Awesome. Awesome, my friend. Yeah, I got to meet uh, I got to meet some of y'all at the uh, tournament, which is pretty sweet. Alright, we drew a Shambling Guest. I'm still gonna hold, though, because I want to leave a Banishing Burst, kill their 2-drop, untap, Spirit Guest. No 2-drop, and then no, huh, and then no land for us. Alright, so they 100% they have a way to kill this Clarion Spirit, but whatever. Now you missed the land drop, we're kind of forced into action, so... Hopefully it's Brutal Cathar, we can just kill it, get this back. It's an elite spellbinder, interesting. What you gonna take? Honestly. If we take like Lawith, we'll like never cast it. Take Massacre, it's pretty hard to cast too. So we're still out of lands, obviously. Shambling Gas dies and kills Spellbinder. Well, Elite Spellbinder feels like it should cost four rather than three. Spellbinder's a pretty fair card. Pretty fair card. All right, always well, your land. But it's a tap land, of course. Uh, why wouldn't it be? All right. Um, this is super awkward because we like don't want to play... You want to play two spells for Clarion Spirit, so you don't want to play anything this turn. Honestly, I should play this until I go... Yeah, four mana of his cards is not playable at all. Big turn here, I feel like. If he gets untapped, I'm just go double spell, double give all gas, or draw a land and go spellbinder gassed. This Clarion Spirit makes Token we're like pretty freaking happy. Vanishing verse not quite as good at four mana, you know. What's up, nurse? Rio Grande was good. Paladin class. We just, we just, we just can't draw a, uh, can't draw a good mix of land spells so far in this large sample size of two games. All lands in game one, no lands in game two. Spellbinder's pretty good here though, so we'll play Spellbinder, and uh, now unfortunately Paladin class makes our tokens not nearly as good as blockers, but whatever I guess. Play Spellbinder, look at their hand. It is insanely good. Um... How many land? Well, we get, we drew them all last game, so I take the Adeline. So they go. Oh, 
play Spellbinder here, probably take Meat Hook Massacre, I'd assume. Pretty easy block if they'll let us have it. I would love to draw land here and just go like Spellbinder and Shambling Gas. That'd be pretty great. All right, we do the land. All right, cool. All right, so let's go Spellbinder. Take the Cathar. So they have, the thing is, they have, now they, have, they just have five lands, and they, both things cost five. So like the Spellbinder's being okay here, but not amazing. Collision Shambling Gas. Make a Spirit. And... I'm going to leave Spellbinder home. Now, Masker costs a lot, but like it is still very powerful. So we'll see what we can, uh, we can, we can turn up here. Rural Cathar, sure. Taking a Spellbinder, okay. And coming in. Easy block here. I kind of want to leave this Spellbinder for the Redane. Although they pump next turn. They, 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 yeah, we're going to take the hero trades here. I can't guarantee playing two spells next turn, so... We could also have Vanishing Verse their uh, Brutal Cathar. I'll say in the draw step, but now we just drew a, uh, another verse. So now it's probably just Shambling Guest verse the Cathar. So there's some value in just leaving Brutal Cathar uh, on the board because when we cast Meadow Massacre, we'll get back our Spellbinder, which is pretty cool. Although, this, honestly, this verse probably has to hit. The Adeline. I might just format a verse for Dane here. And they have Cathar, Paladin. That next turn they can cast the Adeline. Hmm. Yeah, we could double spell here, but I'm just gonna play this play this van. I can't I can't play it on their turn because they have the uh Paladin class. I was gonna kill this. Just attack with uh, Clarion Spirit. Say go. Say go. Frost Dragon, sure. Adeline, sure. Can't really attack here. We trade gas for Cathar, which is great. Now they do a Paladin class next turn. They have Portable all too. That's pretty good. Sure, it's fair. Get it for two, make a token. This card's really, really good. We draw another Meat Hook Massacre. That is interesting. That is interesting. Um, we're going to attack and see if they block, if they do a Meat Hook Massacre. If not, we're going to go Gas Vanishing Verse. I doubt they'll block here. Yeah, just like super transparent. So, just Vanishing Verse, the Adeline. Play Shambling Gas. Get a token. And now we're just like out. They have nothing left. You know, they have like these creature lands, they can activate Paladin class, but they're out of you know card card based resources. They're showing one card a turn. We still have Massacre and Spider Queen. So despite despite missing on land for many, many turns this game, we're still looking pretty good. Fire up the Haven. Just gonna block the the Haven. So we need to massacre for Exus three. So we gotta, we gotta token. I'm gonna block them. Make some blocks. Make a treasure. You draw a vanishing verse. Oh, I went to night. Oh, that's true. That's true. I didn't guess spell. That's kind of a tilt. Um. I play Spider Queen, honestly. Spider Queen kind of plays. Three blockers. They draw a removal spell. It's pretty bad for us, but now I can't Mito can kill the brute anymore, so Ginger reset, thanks so much. Waking for work, but Jim makes not sleeping great. Have a good one. 
No kill spell, please. I guess now, like, they have to attack this with everything. We should don't block. They're gonna level three? So our creature gets... Well, well, but, what? Why? They could have just killed my, my spider queen. Now I get to untap at the old queenie and play. Why do such a thing? Can you give us double strike? Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy just, like, keeping blocking, keeping the queen alive. Pretty sure. Obviously, we, like, we lose two creatures here, but, like, we're not double spelling for this anyway. We can just Vanishing Burst the Brute, obviously, and pay through life if we have to. Draw a hive of the eye tyrant. Hmm. Straw card. Could sack the queen and make spiders, but it's straw card. Village rights. Yeah, I'm gonna vanishing verse this on their turn. Just get back my spellbinder. They might they can kill the spider queen here, but like it's at a pretty good pretty big loss to themselves, so just say go. Paladin class. They have to like attack correctly too. Lol is awesome. This card's insane. You gotta play it in a deck that like has a lot of creatures in it, for sure. But this card's super great. Like we did we did we get we did get stuck on lands for a while this game, you know? It's a pretty awkward game, but Brute Haven, no. Brutes at me, Haven the Spider Queen, and Humans at me. And they're gonna double strike the. By playing Kaya? No, Kaya's not, Kaya's not very good. Double strike the Haven, which is going at the Spider. Why would they need. Why would they do that? They really want the Spider Queen dead. Like, really, really want it. Pay three, exile this. Look at your hand. What do you got? An aspirant. Now it costs four. So they can cast, I guess. So there's a six power double striker going after Lalith, and a two two coming from me. Let's keep Lalith in play. All right, sweet. Now I get to make spiders and play Mutok Massacre. Please play this. Oh, yeah, play the Aspirin. Oh, you love to see it. All right, so we're going to Meat Hook for two and then play a Tap Land and play a Village Rights and play, or not Village Rights, play, uh, play Spider. Hook ya. Spiders. Fortunately, we can't cast Village Rites because they have this Paladin class. It's kind of annoying, actually, but it's fine. Fire up the Haven. Crimson, resub, thanks so much. Yeah, I haven't streamed in, uh, in like, four or five days since I've been away. And we actually, uh, we actually dropped below 700 subscribers. I know. I know. That stinks, but... Um, we're just gonna block because we're dead. We don't block, so so counter on Lalith, meet up massacre. I will get what I want. New Shonder's awesome. I think New Shonder's really, really good. All right, straw card off Lalith. Sure, we can just block on the hive and draw cards. We can we can village rights this turn. This, this, this is fine. We'll be all right. Got new cards coming out, 10 new brews, set review, bronze and mythic to do, lots going on, lots going on. 
New set, new set team is pretty powerful, dude. A lot of cool stuff. All right, so we're gonna fire up a hive and block with the hive. Wait, they're gonna they're gonna double. They're gonna attempt lethal on Lalith when they would also have lethal on me. Sure. I'm gonna block with the hive of the Itar and sack that because it's just like better to have it. It's like an expensive thing we have a lot of mana for. So block here. Villa drags the. I don't know why I tap like that, but whatever. Draw two. Lalith, he meat hook. Set review on Friday. Uh, I will give you a set review as soon as possible. Yeah, previews do go fast. They do, do, they do go fast. They are banging them out. Ordain God of the Worthy. Sure. Could be worse. Spider Queen. They have one card in hand. We can Spellbind or Soul Shatter. Let's draw a card. Land. That opens up the ability to Soul Shatter on their turn, which is kind of cool, so... Play Spellbinder. They have a land, which is totally fair. And now we just have Soul Shatter and Village Rights up. Two blockers for their two attackers. Seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. Just say go. And now we're in the grindy stage of the game where we're like heavily, heavily favored. So... What's up, R. Perry? Creature land. Zodiac, resub, thanks so much. Both attacking me. They're gonna double strike the faceless haven. Alright, so we're gonna shatter them. I didn't see much of the game last night, no. Meat hook, gain a life. There's your double striker. Just gonna chump block. Get a counter on Lolith. Just love it when things die. What can we say? Snarl. All right. uh, make spiders. Attack. I guess I don't want to attack because they have a key with a frost dragon in play. So, all right, no attack. Just to go. Just gonna just gonna chill. Or no rush, you know. We have card draw engines and meetup massacres and village rights and all sorts of crap. Adeline, Resplendent Cathar. Good card. Good card. This is only game two. This has been a long match. Fire up the Haven. Fire up the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Card really good. This card's like everything Brima has ever wanted to be. Put this here, put this here. Village rights, sack the token. Counters, draw, life. More snarls. So, might be interested in a meat hook. Kill this shambling guest, sure. Let's just draw a card. Let's keep drawing cards, I guess. Adeline's really big. Eye twitch, sure. They can't activate Cave of the Frost Dragon now, so we can play multiple things. Play this. I play a lot of pre mods in my day. It's a sideboard card, my blue white control deck. It's a really good sideboard card, honestly. We, like, maybe could have sent Hive of the Eye Tyrant in there, too. And could just, like, set up a two-turn kill. But, uh, I don't know. We don't need to do that. Whatever. We're just, like, winning. Probably should have done that, though. Probably should have done that. Snarls in charge. Much better game there. Even though we were a little, little, uh, little screwed early. Game three. Now, we draw all lands in game one and no lands in game two. The only possible conclusion is... And we're going to draw a proper amount of lands in game three. So I'm looking, I'm just going to be a smooth sailing kind of game. Smooth sailing. H says, type two is not my thing. Okay, boomer. 
type two. I love it. I love it. But your commentary and game is really enjoyable. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We're playing standard today. Playing some historic today. Um, a little modern to play also. Bought 60 Devouring Lights as a spec. You spec that an uncommon? I guess that, like, honestly, it's probably a pretty good by spec, right? You should get them for, like, 50 cents and they end up being, like, $3. It's a pretty, pretty big profit margin. But, yeah, I had, I had Devouring Light in my, in my deck. My, my, my signature play back then was uh, Elspeth with, with Dissolve Mana up on 9 mana. My second signature play was Elspeth on 6 and then draw the one Devouring Light for their creature. What's up, Black Splash? Invitational is awesome. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. No lens. We do have Village Red Shambling Gas. We're keeping. We're keeping. Yeah, because I, I used to have like one Devouring Light in my uh, in my control decks. Because it was just like an okay rule spell. But whenever you played Elspeth, you got to like cast it for free and cast El what What's going What? There's not going to play a one drop or a two drop? You bastard. We're, we're not drawing a land here. So we drew, drew non-land, non-land. Two expensive cards. I, I can almost guarantee we're not going to land here. Like, almost guarantee. Alright, make a treasure. Make right, your land. Alright. Um, I think we hold, though. I'm not going to burn my treasure on Clarion Spirit, so... You missed the song! Yeah, you, you missed the song. It's the first thing that happens. New freshly brewed theme. You missed it. You gotta look for it on YouTube. Look for it in the future. No currently scheduled time freshly brewed yet. Um, it's probably going to be Thursday mornings, but take them as they come. Spellbind. I got plenty of spells here, that's for sure. If we draw a land, I'm starting to feel pretty good about this game. But if we don't draw a land, I am I am worried. I am I am significantly worried. They did Paulo our Paulo. Alright, we now have a five mana Paulo. Untap, draw. Oh no! <laughs> we drew a land! Uh alright. Um sure. Yeah, just play Spirit, play Land Zap, so I go. Ugh. Snarls. Frickin' Snarls. Should've specified. We gotta make a very clear no Snarl clause when I'm asking for lands, you know? We gotta fire up the Haven here. That's pretty aggro, aggro 7 ball. Obviously they know our hand, too, so... Graveyard Trespasser. I mean, I guess we're just going to play the Trespasser. Like, I can't really do much. We could, like, play Meat Hook for one. Honestly, Meat Hook for one's not bad. Just, like, having the Meat Hook Massacre in play is, like, pretty uh, pretty good as far as, like, trading things off. Um, we have to keep our Clarion Spirit alive, too. Trespasser can block Faith Saven, which is pretty cool. Um... Obviously, I want to draw a one mana spell so I can double spell and get a token to play to block this spellbinder, but I think it's actually Meat Hook on one. I think it's Meat Hook on one. Just attack. We have, if we didn't have, it didn't, didn't have a second Meat Hook, I think I'd be happy to, to hold on to it and just wait, but honestly, just like three mana, kill your spellbinder, and then put a pretty good enchantment in play. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. And like, they have a weird hand this game. They didn't play a one drop or two drop. So it's possible their hand's all threes or they were just holding back against the uh, thing. They were just trying to fire up the Haven. Are you sure? Kind of an interesting, uh, interesting thing here. We draw a village rights. Okay. Let's pass through a Spellbinder. Can attack for two. We could like in theory village rights, make a token, and draw some cards. We're just gonna leave trespasser in play, so they cast like a brutal cathar here or something like that. We can sack it and draw. Very weird game. Very weird game. Uh obviously the mono white deck is a super on the board deck, and they have uh not done a lot of getting on the board this game. Usher the Fallen, sure. 
They know we have Massacre in our hand. Snarl's in charge. Land is tapped. I do love me some Graveyard Trespasser. I think this card's super underrated. I think this card's super underrated. It's not as good against creature decks. You know, it's like pretty good against creature decks, but it's like really, really good against the control decks and the epiphany decks. Super good card. What's up, Beardy Boy? Adeline. Okay. No attacks. Untap and draw a land. So we can like Vanishing Verse and just Trespasser, I guess. Just like use our mana. Get a token, attack. It's all pretty good. I don't love burning my treasure here for that, but like, whatever. My trespasser. Yeah, shambling guest. Vanishing verse this. Use our treasure. And now he's jam, I think. I don't think I want to offer the Clarion Spirit for the Usher of the Fallen, so we'll just act like this. I think that's it for cards and graveyards. But now we're just, like, super on the board. And, like, they don't really have a good catch-up mechanic, you know? Like, white, the White Weenie deck is kind of like the... They're kind of the beatdown deck. They're kind of the beatdown deck. Yeah, Thalia's in the new set. So uh, these White decks get Thalia, which is going to be a huge, huge, uh, huge thing. Usher of the Fallen. They have any wrath effects? No. They're just, they're just all creatures. Very strange game for them. Very strange game for them. Thalia gonna be a net positive of the format. Thalia is really good. Like, Thalia is really, 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 really good. It's obviously good against Epiphany Dex, which is good, but. Brutal Cathar? Sure. Target Trespasser, they have to discard a card, which is awesome. Just gonna kill the 1 1 token. All right. Like, the thing is, like, they're just dying here. You know, our trespassers are kind of just killing them. Portable hole. But now I just meet up for two, right? Uh, yeah. Just meet up for two, right? That seems pretty awesome to me. And I even drew a backup meat hook just in case we uh, really need to clean things up. Wipe your board. Attack for effectively four. Eat that one. Eat that one. Bow. 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 And, uh... Once they're low... Oh, they're gonna Skyclave one of these? Sure. They gotta discard a card. That's great. Card's great. Discarding a Paladin class. They have two cards left. And again, like, our hand is just, like, pretty chunky. The fourth Meat Hook Massacre? Sure. Um, Alright, yeah, just attack. Take, uh... Paladin class, I guess. We're also at a point where, like, Meat Hook Massacre, whenever my creature dies, they just lose life. So, like, once they get too low, they can't just, like, they can't even attack anymore. I think the question here is, do we do we village rights or trespasser? And the answer is probably no. We do want to play some more spells, but this is fine. Obviously, we have all five mana spells. We just say go. Go to Knight. And I have a 4-4. Four, four. Oops, all meat hooks. Oh, fresh meat. So land or spell that costs less than four. And I will I, this time I will specify... Non snarl land, please. Non snarl land. Vanishing verse. All right. I mean, sure. If we attack, they trade Haven for Glutton. I don't want to do that because the more they, every time they leave up, they leave up four mana for Haven. They just kind of have to keep doing that. So we can verse the portable hole or the skyclave. Just say go. We have the meats. Let's 
Say so again. There are very few instants they have in their deck, so... Just chill. Guardian of Faith. Enter battlefield and never target creatures you control. Phase out. Uh, okay. That's interesting. I'm going to... Would I rather have a Clarion Spirit or a 3-3? Three, Boy, three, three. a 3-3. I'm just going to burst this in response. Their hand was obviously very weird this game, so they could have another, another one of these in their hand. So... There are 3-3. Three, three. Faith resolves. You have Village Rites available too, so... Portable hole, great. Village rights. Pretty happy about this, honestly, because I, I, I kind of wanted to guess village rights anyway, but didn't have a reason to. Now I do. Draw two. Draw Shambling Gas Swamp, awesome. And again, they're stuck leaving this haven up every turn for the most part. I just, like, don't know what they're, like path to victories in this game. It's just so far behind, you know? Draw land. Just got a Spellbinder. I guess we could, like, Shambling Gas attack, and then if they, if they block with only Behaven, shrink it. That's, like, super transparent, though. So much block with both. So, just cast this. There's Hidden Massacre. Um, that's true. We should just gas and attack. That's true. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, exile. Yeah, they had a second Guardian. Skyglaive. Carlos says, attack sync when you face mana cripple or flood, you just used to it. You gotta understand that when you sign up to play Magic, you are signing up to play a card game. You are shuffling cards. And when you shuffle cards, you know, the outlier effects that are not part of the standard bell curve will happen. And that's just what you signed up for. It's gonna happen to you and your opponent at the same rate as long as you're building your deck properly. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. All right, so you draw, they play five mana Skyclave, target the Glutton, discard a card, yada, yada, yada. They're just dead to the Spellbinder now anyway. As I was saying earlier, though, yes, they, they are, they are, um, they are just dead to the Meat of Massacre, so. So, Elvish Warrior, Scott Morning, well, you missed the, uh, if you missed the intro by Scott Tune, you missed it. Freshly Brewed intro, all right? One and all here on Freshly Brewed. Uh... Jim D. Ska. That'd be, that'd be a good emote. To be like Skankin. That's actually a pretty good idea for emote. Someone put that in the uh, in the Discord. It's good, right? It's good stuff. All right. Kind of an awkward hand here. Uh, we've drawn the all payoffs, no fodder kind of hand. But our opponent's mulliganed. I was at keep. We're drawing to any any uh, any one minus any one, any one or two mana creature, any white land, you know. Who makes the intro? So that, that's Scott Tune Network does the... Uh, Music for it. Scott Tune is unbelievable. Uh, totally unbelievable. And then the, uh, the edit video, video, I have various video editors. The two-tone suit. My, uh, the, my strap for my base is, uh, is a checkerboard strap. Smoldering egg. For the planes. All right. Cave. Shatter skull. I think we're just going to verse here. But I was just going to die. I want to have village rights up for it, too. Some skill this. <laughs> That's pretty funny, mostly lost. The Celestis. A Celestis for the Restus. Alright, so um now we drew Shambling Gas, we get to make some some things here. Hopefully no sweeper. Hopefully no sweeper. But now we're nice and wide. Draw our payoffs. I freaking love Clarion Spirit. Your YouTube comment of a day is Clarion Spirit, all capital letters. No! I just, I just love Clarion Spirit so much. Spellbinder? Spellbinder? Drink some coffee? Play my Spellbinder? Boom. They have two cards left. Spellbinder, the big addition, of course. Divide by zero. They have mana. Hmm. I'm not sure. Teaches the archaic. That's pretty annoying. Um, yeah, sure, whatever. They're gonna cast teachings and we'll get spellbinder. So play land. 
And again, this should be, this is where we're looking to, to benefit the most from white here. Splashing white in this deck. Um, getting cards like Spellbinder against these spell-heavy decks. Celestis. Celestis, Celestis. Natabot says, My in-laws in Boston. Boston. Just left my house after being here for a week. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> Boston. Hey, I'm casting spells over here. I'm mixing up my New York and my Boston accents, but I don't care. I don't care. Um, do I want to village rights here? I don't think so. Just gonna hold up. Go to rest too. Wow. Attack. All right, play spell minor. Wicked draw. What a wicked draw. Epiphany Leer. All right, so we have Vanishing Verse for Leer, which is pretty sweet. So we're gonna we're gonna take the Leer. And we're gonna rest the Epiphany. They didn't. They didn't suspend the Epiphany, which is kind of interesting, honestly. Kind of weird. Wicked draw. I think Faith Labs is pretty bad. I think you, you can only play Faith Labs if you're like super super aggressive. Otherwise, you just, you just card disadvantage. It's not a good card. So they tap out for Leer, and we have a uh, a Vanishing Verse. We also have Eaten Alive, but it's a Vanishing Verse. Versia. Wouldn't want to hurse ya. Waka waka. What? Yeah, I don't know why they didn't foretell there, but. Alright. Um, it's gonna untap. It turns to night. We're probably gonna fire up the hive here. Yeah, just fire up the hive. Vanity Verse is really, really good. Yes, Vanity Verse is like the the impetus for this deck. Aside from just adding the white cards, be good against this deck. All right, here we go. Attack time. Attack pattern Delta. Fading Hope, my hive of the Eye Tyrant. Have I played a land this turn? I think I have. We could village rights it. Um, I kind of want to village rights it. Just like deny them the scry. Draw some cards. Maybe draw a duress. We're not replaying it this turn anyway, so it's unlikely to have an effect on the outcome of this game. Whereas the scry might. And like drawing cards is great too, honestly. I'm just going to stack this. It's so obviously like card. You know, we're, we could keep the card for the bounce spell, but it's just never going to never gonna matter. Two turn clock here. Just Snarl Planes. Awesome. Love it. Deny the Scry. Alright, there are four. Not bad for a game with your, with your Eaten Alive, too. Two Banishing Versions and Eaten Alive. Make the rights play. All right. Uh, what's the uh, what's the deal here? Yeah, one card left. Wicked awesome. The rest of the Braves winning the World Series. I'm a tan and super happy. While we were at uh, so we were at Corey Baumeister's house on Sunday night for a, it was supposed to be a Halloween party. Ended up being like a, a, a yeah, like a you know celebration party for Corey winning the tournament. And uh, we were watching the World Series game with uh, Chris McCurry, he's a Star City guy, and he's a huge Braves fan. And they load the bases in the first inning. And Todd Anderson declares, if this dude is a grand slam, everyone in the house takes a shot. First pitch, boom. And then boom, everyone to the kitchen first shot of fireball. It was sick, it was very, very fun. I don't think I want to get in there, but. All right, so uh, looking at an epiphany deck here, we're gonna bring in our shades, our blanks, uh, our duresses, our redains. Gonna shave the massacres. Gonna take out the, the uh, the eaten alive. Yes, Corey about Master Richard, which dresses Goku. Correct. Uh, we're gonna cut like a, two spider queens. I gotta keep it all four verses, I think, for their eggs and layers. We could shave like one. I'm gonna shave like one, and then we'll shave. I just shave all the Spider Queens, honestly. It's not very good in the matchup. Like, just kind of a clunky, expensive card. Um, yeah, Duress, Eye Twitch, Shambling Gas, Village Rites, Spirit. 
A lot of cheap threats, a lot of recursive threats. How many lands do we have? We're at 24. Let's just cut, just cut a land. Let's just cut a, uh, a Spider Queen and then a Swamp. We're, our, we're lowering our curve so much that like we can just like kind of go nuts, I think. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Chop Jester. Snarl, Gas, Shade. This is a pretty good hand. It's a pretty good hand here. Um, I think we're going to fire up the, uh, the Duress over the Shambling Gas first. Let's see what they got here. They have a Iteration, a Windfall, and a Celestis, and a Leer. That's pretty good for us with our Go Blank hand. Their hand's kind of clunky and crappy. I'm thinking Celestis here. And Vanishing Verse, okay. Shade or Jadar? I don't actually, I guess like a Jadar is better, if I draw like Village Rites. They're both three power creatures. One splits the bodies up. One's worse against like spot removal, whereas just shades, better, shades better there. We know most of their hand too. I'm gonna Jadar, I think. And then the blank is very good against the iteration, obviously. Hellman says, congrats on the success. Best Mog Monday ever. My job may be in jeopardy. <laughs> Thanks, Hellman. Appreciate it. We draw Skyclave Shade. Okay. We're not gonna uh we're not gonna go blank yet. Just gonna play Skyclave Shade. Shambling Guest. A lot of power play, honestly. Effectively, Jadar has three power. Shade obviously has three power. We have seven power in play. They're going to make a black land? Interesting. And just cast Windfall, discarding a land, drawing two. They are getting closer to playing Leer, which is obviously pretty scary, but their graveyard's pretty bad, honestly, so. I wish I have Blank him regardless. This is probably the Blank turn. Probably. Draw a land. Alright, let's just attack. Attack first, see what's up. Now I can Shade and leave a Vanishing Verse. The fear is that they have a Master Rule spell, but we just have two Shades anyway, as long as it exiles, it's not a big deal. Big deal. Next turn, they can't iteration and play time walk. Yeah, we're just gonna play shade here. Just land shade. They don't really have the cards for, for Leer to be good anyway. Arc says, hey Jim, I wanna let you know that I watch your content not because you have the best play, because you have the best personality and love to card. Thanks so much, my friend. I appreciate it. Iteration. Okay. Tell me more. What kind of iterations is this going to be? A windfall iteration? It's a pretty good one. So copy windfall. They have to draw four, discard one, make four tokens. They are dead on board though, right? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are exactly dead on board, so. Thanks, follows everyone. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Chat's being so kind. Aww. Being so kind. Karn's off wandering the house somewhere. I doesn't, Karn doesn't care about you all. We're 1-0, right? That first match was long. That was a long first match. Smoldering Egg resolves. Pass to attackers. I mean, we're going to verse here, because if they don't have any, they're dead. Let's force them to use the treasures. This is our answer to Leer, but we're going to go blank them also. So, Leer won't be able to do very much.
They're gonna hazard a guess on my Skyclave Shade. Sure. Alright, so we attack them to three. We give them the old blank skis. A blank expression on their face. Goodbye out iteration, goodbye leer cards. I don't think they gate here. What's up, Argus? I came in 42nd uh, at the Invitational. I played Mono Green and Standard to a very disappointing 3 and 5 record. I'm a little unhappy that I played it, but I kind of had to lock it in early because of card availability, and I played it a lot, but I don't know. And then I went 6 1 and 1 with Hammer Time in Modern. My draw, my opponent was dead on board at 1 life with nothing in play and drew Fury to, to force the draw. And then I, I shuffled Luris into my deck in the last round against Blue White Control. So I went 6 1 1. 6 1 1. So. Uh, 2 0 in this, though. What's up? Is it legal to put your companion in a different colored sleeve? Uh, you can, but you would need to have a regular sleeve also in case it gets, like, put into your deck. Like, you know, if it gets to, you know, to fairy talked or whatever. What would I have played in standard? I wish Ross had given me his deck. I didn't ask him, obviously. But Ross, Ross had a really sweet white weenie deck that was, like, super low curve. It seemed very, very well built for the, uh, the room. He went, like, 6 and 2. And, like, one loss is pretty crappy. He crushed me. I am all it a bunch of times, too. But, hands fine. We can keep this. Um, but, Mono Green deck just felt very, very medium. And, like, I did Mulligan a good amount. I think I lost to Kellen Pastor round one of day two. I was 6-2 and two going into day two. And, uh, I feel like I made a slight error. And I just, like, I just barely lost... I, uh, I had Kellen do one life twice in game three. I just like, couldn't finish. Kellen obviously top aided. Uh, Kellen's a very good player. I beat Kellen in the finals of uh, one of the opens that I won. He's very good. And uh, SG, if those don't know, don't know how invitationals work, the SG invitational is uh, uh, eight rounds day one, eight rounds day two, half standard, half modern. So great attack for us here because I would love to trade the Jar because I, I have a second one. So we do that. We draw Clarion Spirit. That's pretty sweet. So now you have Spellbinder into Spirit Push Jadar, which is awesome. Let's fire up Spellbinder. Their hand is Reckless Stormseeker, Bloodthirsty Adversary, Tainted Adversary, Soul Shatter Stormseeker. So they have two lands and a million threes, so they're 100% to draw a land next turn. Um, we're going to take the, the Adversary, I think. The Tainted Adversary. Yeah. Soul Shatter is whatever, so yeah. Um, as far as this zombie, let me just hold it. So you go. MK, I hope your interview went well, my friend. Thanks so much for the reset. Appreciate it. All right, another bloodthirsty adversary. And the question now is, do I want to block? Do I want to block? Hmm. Next turn we have Clarion Spirit plus Jadar, which is pretty good, honestly. I get to crack back for five and make a bunch of blockers. I'm not going to block. Vanishing Verse? Sure. A little lag out there. A little lag. Not sure why we're lagging on stream. There you go. Pretty wide now, pretty wide board. Sweet Marty. Marty! So yeah, definitely uh, a little Rakdos aggro here. And uh, not really making the land drops they need. Just kidding. Cost them three life then. Cost them three life then, another 12. Reckless Stormseeker. Gonna give it haste. And they get a fire for the attack here. Just stacking for two. We're going to take this. Next turn we have Verse plus Eaten Alive. And a Snarl, of course. So we're going to Vanishing Verse the Stormseeker. And we're going to Eaten Alive as Bloodthirsty Adversary. Just to, like clean this board clear and attack. I think so. Sack creature. Target this. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or we can keep a spirit. We want to keep a spirit around. So one less damage. We get to just redo our thing. So do that. Do this. 
attack for a whole bunch. Another five. And I think we're in good shape now. Kind of tough game, though. If they draw lands this game, we might have been, been in trouble. They had a lot of gas in their end. They had a lot of gas in their end. Whew. Whoosh. All right, so Rakdos Aggro. Um, I would say we don't want these duresses. I would say we want the extra meat hooks. I would say we want the soul shatters. Um, I would say Jadar not very good. They had, uh, they had, uh, I think they showed Spike Bill Cave, but, right? So build rights, shatters. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Try this one out. Top Corgi, Edgar Roanoke, uh, 42nd place, $500. Not thrilled, though. Three and five in standard. Not thrilled. Well, Crimson, the Snarl Cycle is actually already complete. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, Port Town, Game Trail, one of the original Innistrads had the allied colored ones, but they weren't called Snarls. So I don't know why they like changed the nomenclature to Snarl, but they were just as mopey back then as they were now, so... It's gonna be a perfect 3 0 run here on Freshly Brewed. Might be. Might be. Let's go. Shadows over in a straw. That's the one. I went 6 1 1 in modern with Hammer Time. Uh, deck's freaking awesome. Uh, Could have been better. My opponent didn't get lucky and draw Fury on me. Alright. Uh, I got a mulligan here. Got a mulligan. Mulligan. Sure. Let's keep this. And kind of sucks that we 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 we, uh, we missed the land here because this would be a perfect seven card hand with like you know the the creature village rights removal spell massacre. I'm gonna just bin a uh, swamp here. I think. Actually, yeah, I've been the hive. We're never, we're never gonna activate a hive this game. So just we'll just draw a land, or we could always get a uh, a sciences too. So. Well, I'd love to have kept, kept seven there. We can deal with it. Draw another high of the eyes, aren't sure. Um, play hive, eye switch. Little buddy, hey, little buddy. Shatter skull, the hammer pass. Okay, taking some damage here. Taking some damage. Alright. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just, just chilling. Got some meat hooks going on. Got some village rights ready to go. Got some banishing verses ready to go. You gonna play a storm seeker here? We're gonna banishing verse it. They are. Yes, they are. Get off my plane. Draw another snarl. All right. Um, we're going to attack. Do we want to cast village rights here? Is the question. I think we do. I don't think I touch matters that much. Just draw some cards. Get things going here. Sack this. We're going to just get the, uh, the pest summoning. I don't want to get sciences. We're going to draw some lands. Get pest summoning, draw another eye twitch. Wow. That's great. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back, buddy. Now we got we got lands, we got meat hooks, we got pest summoning to buy some time. They probably have uh like the their blood red black inner Immerstrom Predator card, but like Massacre answers that pretty well, so that's kinda cool. Den of the Bugbear, a lot of cool lands here. A lot of cool lands. Morning Raven. Oh, they are tanking. Painter, two mana up, and tanking. Meat hook number three. We do love our meat hook massacres. Let's 
So, it'd be kind of sketchy to not cast this past summoning, so we're just going to cast it. We kind of we kind of put our hand face up, I think, if we didn't cast it. So, cast this. There you go. They cast a Predator or a Goldspan Dragon here. Uh, could be a problem, honestly, because it outsizes our of Massacre by a decent amount. Don't necessarily want to draw three of these. This card's good. The Valdaren Scion. Good card. Good card. Human Elf Bard. Arg says, people think the SG tournaments are minor leagues. What do you think? Well, there's no major leagues right now, so... I mean, I, I whatever. You know, like, people are going to think what they're going to think about whatever. Like, SG tournaments are, pl are plenty difficult. They're obviously more regional-based, whereas the Pro Tour is more, like, you know, worlds-based. But attack for one. If this hits us, they can trigger the Florian and possibly play a card off of it. I'm just going to block. Lago says, hey, Jim. Long time YouTube washer. First time in Twitch chat. Long time, first time. Love your takes on all the new cards. Came up for the set review. Articles are impressively well written. Aww. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. Love my YouTube folks. Yes, Vampiric Dragon was an old card, yes. So we're just going to play iTwitch here and just, like, say go. Um, I would like to get to uh, six mana to cast Mina for four and kill this, uh, kill this Scion. Don't want to allow them to trigger the Scion, so kind of just make some blocks here. They fire up the end of the Bugbear, it's fine, because they can't cast anything off the Scion anyway, so... And they just play to land, so... A Sulphur's Mire at that. Alright, so... I'm just gonna block twice, I think. Um, like they lost the ability to play a land off this. Yeah, I'm gonna block twice. Just don't deny them the uh, the scion trigger. Get sciences. Get a mascot exhibition. I didn't lose any life. I didn't lose any life. What are you talking about? We drew the land. Oh, it's lightning helix! Oh my god! Hook ya! Hook ya! Yes, light buffering. I don't know why. It's not on my end, so. Whoosh. They, of course, have the, the uh, Den of the Bugbear, but... I have Mascot either next turn or return after. We have more Meat Hooks where that came from, so... They're very, like, low to the ground in Game 1. Um, here's the Bugbear, sure. I mean, my internet's fine, so I don't know what the problem is. I haven't had problems in a while, either. All right, draw a land, play the X, play the uh, mascot. Get a party going here. I don't know, the upload's a little sketch, actually. Upload's a little sketch. Uh, I don't know why. So we're gonna Blood Chief starts the largest creature, the 4-4. Just totally fine. We, the mascot I especially this deck is more of like a stopgap than anything else. Make them make them use their cards. You know, works for me. Works for me. They're gonna fire out the den again. Great. I would love to trade with the den. So that's awesome. Easy, easy blocks here. Brave new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Yo, bro. I heard you like Meadok Massacre. We draw a lot of Meadok Massacres. Uh. We do draw a lot of Meadow Massacres. We are going to cast Sciences. I guess Swamp. To loot a hook away over the Sciences? I don't think so. Alright, we're just going to uh, 
Let's get Zach, honestly. It's like, they have a 1-1 in play. Let's just get going here. Let's just get going. I got a bunch of lands and a million meat hooks, so... Vampire Socialite. Attack for one. Okay. Okay. I have the Eye Tyrant. Keep him coming. Infernal Grass, the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Sure. Happily trade the Spirit for the Socialite. Triggers Meat of Massacre also. Have another Hive. Triggers. Like this. And some Meat of Massacre crew. There's Immerstrom Predator. Gonna die to my Meat of Massacre. Now the question is, do I want to just like hive? Yeah, I'm just gonna hive and set up for next turn. Could have a kill spell here if I do whatever. I should already spells actually. They showed they showed the uh, they showed the like the, the, the Goblin Dark Dwellers or whatever like flashback card. It's got menace, can't block. You go to two. Sega. End game. Alright, sweet. 3-0. Freshly brewed 3-0. The sweep skis with black white tokens. And uh decent spread there. At last that was a little weird, but white weenie, epiphany, both major decks in the format. Um Again, me and Dan sort of like Dan Jessup sort of like three craft of his deck on the way to Roanoke for the invitational, but didn't really have time to like test it or build or anything like that. Just kind of the uh, kind of just the black deck that I played a lot on stream. That like, if I had played more, I might have played the Envy. But adding white for Vanishing first, best kill, kill best kill spell in the format, and then adding uh, white for Spellbinder to be better against the spell spell based decks, the creature decks, the control decks, and the Epiphany decks, stuff like that. Clarion Spirit's awesome. Man is passable. Redanium Cyborg's kind of nice. Deck sweet. Deck sweet. So we'll see if this deck gets any uh, gets any new any new cards in uh, the next set. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep streaming, but YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Freshly brewed episode twenty seven. Luminary thoughts on the show and the theme and everything else. And you're all great. Thanks, YouTube. Appreciate it.